Jamaica, of course, uh, the 100 meter champion boy. 2644 Grenada, Kanik Nixon was in 200 semi final action earlier. Wants to give his team a really good start as they try to snatch a medal in the under 17 boys 4 by 100. They do have a good team. Delron John is in the lineup as well, and as I said, Mathlin, 400 silver medalist, who is also in the 200 final. And in with a shot of a medal. Mathlin expected to be on anchor Trinidad and Tobago. They come out with some firepower as well. Cameron Powell is on the opening leg for them. He has a fine burst of speed, especially on the block. So expect them to get a fine start. Trinidad and Tobago. The record here, 40.76 and in 2009 by Jamaica. The crowd getting into this one, as you would expect, when the relays are on at the Carifta Games. Guyana, Turks and Caicos, British Virgin Islands, Grenada, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Bahamas. No role for the Bahamas, we assume, given that he took no part in the 200 meters earlier. Massive blow to the Bahamas. 1-6-0 leading off the British Virgin Islands, Maria Carter. Guerrier, Guerrier for the Turks and Caicos Islands. The British Virgin Islands have Tiandre Fritz, sixth place finisher in the 100. He's also in the 200 final. He's on their team. Final of the under 17 boys, 4 by 100. The Jamaicans are favorite in lane number six. So the Jamaicans practicing a couple of days ahead of the event and they had Byron Walker practicing the first leg. He's in the 200 final here. Hasn't seen a, I haven't seen a good look and as to who is on the opening leg for them, but I suspect it might be Walker. Off they go. The drumming comes up well. With Walker. The change is clean to the 100 champion, Nyron Wade. The British Virgin Islands also flying. Trinidad and Tobago going well with Chinapu, the 100 silver medalist. The change is good for Trinidad and Tobago. The drumming comes have work to do. O'Shane Jervis is on the third leg for them. Here comes the final change. Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. Malik Nugent, the 100 bronze medalist, chases and comes away now. It will be Jamaica's gold. Desperate finish for the Bahamas. But the Jamaicans have enough firepower to hold up the Trinbagonians in the 4x100 final. Terrific performance from Trinidad and Tobago though. They gave the Jamaicans all they could handle. Fine fight from Trinidad and Tobago and passing, not necessarily the cleanest all the way around, but good enough uh, to get that second place and good enough uh, to really put a little bit of a scare into the Jamaicans going into uh, the final leg. 41-53 for Trinidad and Tobago in second position. The Bohemian anchor falling across the line. Would have been interesting, I think, to see what the Bohemians would have been able to produce with Ishmael Rule in their lineup. Definitely would have been. The Bohemians still managed to get a bronze medal here, 42.30. And you have to believe that Ishmael Roll would have made a difference on that team. Here's another look at it. Terrific start for Trinidad and Tobago from Cameron Powell. 
Byron Walker running well for Jamaica as well. Jamaica with the 100 champion on the second leg. And Trinidad and Tobago with the 100 silver medalist, Chinapu. Wade to Oshane Jervis for the Jamaicans. And here you see that last pass for the uh, Trinidad and Tobago team. Not the cleanest at all. Lost a little bit of momentum there. Trinidad. Don't know that it would necessarily have made a difference to the ultimate result, but certainly they will rule the fact that they were not able to get the stick around cleanly, especially on that last pass, and uh, perhaps put themselves in a better position to go for the gold. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago had a few options, I think. 41-34 Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago 41-53, Bahamas taking bronze 42.30, British Virgin Islands fourth 42-47, Guyana 43-68, Turks and Caicos 45-25, Grenada did not finish.